Lucas Media. I've been saying this, but now I'm going to let Stephen A. Smith and Shannon Sharp say it as well. I'm talking about Canelo Alvarez and really the state of boxing in general. Let me play a little bit of it. Stuff about this. I don't like it at all. Mm. First of all, Charlo, and I'm assuming this is the natural middleweight Charlo, not the Charlo yes. Canelo just beat. This guy openly, I root for him, Shannon Sharp, I truly do. But he's had some personal issues, which is why he's been away from the boxing. Charlo's been out of the ring for over two years, and his last fight was like a 10-rounder. The WBC, they didn't strip him. Y'all know boxing. They make rules up as they want to go. But now Canelo wants to fight this dude on Cinco de Mayo? Really? Uh, let me keep playing it. For so many years, okay? We all know that his little brother had no business in the ring with Canelo simply because he was undersized. Now, also, they talking about... Um, Jermel Charlo, who laid an egg, literally. He went in there. He got knocked down. He started running around. Then after the end of the fight, he talking about he pride himself. And yet, you know, we 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 fans, we were the ones who got ran over because we paid all that money for that fight for you to go in there and do what you did. Moving yes. up two weight classes to fight the powerful Canelo. He did the minute he hit him and saw that it couldn't affect him. All of a sudden, Canelo started stalking him from the second round on for crying out loud. We know that his bigger brother does it hasn't been fighting that much, so I'm worried about that. But here's the biggest reason that I'm pissed off. Canelo Alvarez, it doesn't matter who he fights, he's going to get paid. Because we And that's true, because he signed that deal with the PBC and when he when he signed the deal, people were thinking, okay, Canelo's gonna fight David Benavidez at some point. But Canelo, he pretty much he took that money and you know, I'm gonna fight these lower superstar named fighters. I'm gonna fight the Charlos and even though they've been through their issues and I want Terrence Crawford to move up from one forty seven to one sixty eight and fight me and let me keep going. No, that that contingent that follows him is damn near like a cult following. I say that in a complimentary fashion, not in any negative fashion whatsoever. They love this man. They revered this man. They follow him wherever he goes. He's one of the biggest, if not the biggest draw in boxing. Canelo Alvarez. Which he is. He's the pay-per-view king he's right now. And that's why he's doing what he's doing. Who is a super middleweight, Shannon. He is 28-0 and 0 with 24 knockouts. And he has been waiting for years. To now, it, it's been at least two plus years, but David Benavidez has been the mandatory, and the WBC has not enforced it, which is one of the issues with boxing. They enforce things when they want to. You know, they'll make, um, they'll strip Crawford of a belt, but then they'll hold, they'll let somebody go for three, four years or I fight a man and Tory or it ain't got so bad that with these sanction about it, the WBC created this franchise belt, which was a belt, but then it's not a belt. Now it's a belt. And then when you confront Suleiman about it, he gets mad. Fight Canelo Alvarez and Canelo Alvarez has been avoiding him. Now this is not right. This is not, this is the problem about, see, this is why I love Dana White so much with the UFC. Now I've been saying that y'all can go back, look at all my boxing videos. This is why UFC is taking over because Dana White, he runs the whole show. Because when the public clamors for a fight, you're gonna go, you're gonna fight that person. Absolutely. You're not gonna be able to avoid them for years Facts. and not fight. You get in an argument in the streets, and Dana White will be like, "Y'all gonna go in the octagon? We gonna get paid for this? Y'all gonna settle this in the damn octagon?" Okay, boxing promoters. Hold fans hostage, make you wait for years. They're all guilty of it. Look how long it took for us to watch Manny Pacquiao and um, Floyd Mayweather. Look how long it took for us to watch Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence. Look how long, well, the fight never even happened between Wilder and Joshua. They're all guilty of it, and I'm sick of it, okay? David Benavidez has waited years. How much better can it get, Shannon, when you 28-0 and 0 with 24 KOs 
and you waiting for the dude. A uh, Terrence Crawford not fighting a uh, Boots Ennis. I love Boot Ennis, Boots Ennis, who's undefeated and stuff like that, and I get that. But Jamal, J- Terrence Crawford had just had his mega. His- now, side note, I do believe that Boots got to wait his turn. Um, he's not a superstar like a David Benavidez yet. If you ask the average person who Boots Ennis is, they don't know. The only people, only casual people I know who really know who he is is in Philly. Just had his mega fight. He hasn't been in Canelo Alvarez's position for years where you have your pick of the litter because you're the draw and you can fight whoever you choose to fight. I want to get the Shannon point. Canelo Alvarez, how many fights are you going to have before you avoid giving Benavidez the chance he so richly deserves? Now, he did say, Canelo, Said that he don't want. He's not going. He's never going to fight another Mexican fighter. It was some article. I forgot what, but he said he got Benavidez got to wait his turn. And I do what I want. Nobody makes me do anything. I do whatever I feel like. It. I'm really ticked off. Paraphrasing. About it. it ain't right. It ain't right. It's I not. Get what you're saying, Stephen A. But guys, have come on, um, the sport of boxing. Let's get it. Um, um, that if I can make twenty million dollars and fight somebody that I know I can beat, why would I take a chance and fight somebody for thirty million dollars? And th- do y'all remember when Joshua, when they when when uh, Al Heyman and him had offered Joshua fifty million in a 50-50 split, and Joshua ducked and went and fought you know Parker and uh, forgot the Russian fighter name right now um, Povekin or Povekin however you say it and people it was like oh why fight Water for fifty million when he can get it within two three fights. I remember going back and forth with people on Twitter about that back in 2018, 2019. That's what these guys Even 2017. Do. And the differences between boxing and the UFC, you might be the champion, but you don't control anything. Dana White still controls it. And so if if you're the champion, you're going to fight the number one contender. Facts. It ain't no, well, I think I want to fight the number 10 contender because I think I got a greater right. chance of beating him. That's not how it works in UFC, but that's how it works because what guys are trying to do now... And I, and I love Floyd Mayweather. But yeah. what he did was ruin the sport of boxing because everybody is worried about that zero. I'm going to leave it right there. I'm going to leave it right there. Um, shout out to 78 General. I got the idea from you about this, but it's true. And I thought about making a separate video. Floyd, all-time fighter, he kind of changed it because he's the one who made it seem like if you had a, a loss, your career was over. Prior to that, Name me a fighter that name me any of your favorite fighters that won defeated and fought who they were supposed to fight. Ali lost, Jack Johnson lost, Joe Lewis lost to um was it Max Schmeling and ended up coming back and beating him. Um Sugar Ray Robinson lost, Sugar Ray Leonard lost, Marvin Hagler lost, Tommy Hearns lost. I mean I can just keep De La Hoya. I can keep naming names. But um Basically, back in the day, people took losses. When I used to watch fights back in the day, um, you didn't hear nobody say, oh, um, they took a loss, their career is over. No, if they came back, they came back. Marvin Hagler, I believe he lost two times before he be, before he became a um, middleweight champion. But now, these fighters feel like as soon as they always oh, gone, it's over. Or they'll hold it like Keith Thurman. And cash out when it come to Manny Pacquiao. Y'all remember when Keith Thurman? I gotta. Oh, I ain't afraid to let it go. Soon as he get the belts, well, Keith Thurman. You know, Keith Thurman fights when he wants to fight, and Keith Thurman's not gonna fight Earl Spence. And you had people uh, going for it. And this is why, and I'm I'm gonna keep saying this. This is why boxing is a dying sport, and I wish it wasn't. And why UFC is excelling is because we get to see the fights we want. Whatever happened to ESPN Friday Night Lights? And Max Kellerman, uh, well, the guy who ended up doing things, you know, deleting his brother. Uh, but the boxer, I forget the name on top of my head, when he hit uh, the old boy, that was on ESPN Friday Night Lights. Like, I used to look forward to watching that every Friday. And, yeah, a lot of people on there were, were unknown or whatever. But it was cool just to see it, just to see people get a chance. My son can't watch boxing like that unless I unless we now I guess it's on Amazon Prime, you know. And then even then, Tim Zoo 
and Keith Thurman should not be a pay-per-view fight. I'm sorry. Don't nobody know who these guys are anymore? Well, at least Keith Thurman, but Tim Zhu, don't nobody know who he is. But that's the problem. Y'all done got so damn greedy. That fight should be, if if, if y'all can't get it on, on network TV, it should be on Amazon Prime for free. Give all those 200 million followers the chance to watch it. And I seen Roley make a video talking about Amazon Prime is better and 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 it's 200 million people on there. Yeah, but who's for the pay for that pay-per-view fight that you and Keith Thurman are doing co-main events in one? I'm not. You think I'm going to pay for that garbage? Now, if it was on Amazon Prime, this regular, cool. But they really trying to sell people these fights like it's just... Like it's such a, a a big event. Don't nobody know who you are. I'm a. I should do a video where I go down the street and ask people: Do they know who Rolly Romero is? Do they know who Keith Thurman is? And every other fighter that's not a a a a list superstar, i.e., a Tank Davis, a Devin Haney, a Canelo Alvarez, a Benavidez. Don't nobody else know who these other fighters are. And don't be surprised if Canelo. Won't fight him next year, too. See, he thought he was slick when he tried to fight Bivol. He was, uh, uh, he went up, moved up there and said, I'm going to fight Bivol. You know, it's going to be a smooth fight. And he go up there, he get beat, and then he didn't know what to do after that. Like, he gets the biggest pass for the most ducks. And I'm just, I'm tired of it, man. I'm, I'm. Boxing was my first is my first love. Honestly, I watched boxing before I watched any other sport. It was boxing, then NBA, then uh, then football. Ironically, but boxing is terrible. Basketball is terrible, and you know, men why lie, women lie, numbers don't. And these fighters and and promoters and advisors they refuse to see that the sport going down the drain. But I know I'm over here going on a rant, man. I just want to get my opinion about it. What y'all think?